wicked, wicked, wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Let that elbow break a bit. So hold, hold right there. Yeah. That elbow lower. No, nope. hold it right there. Put your elbow down a bit. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Stiff on your hands. Yeah. Good. Open up. Sweep through. Mm -hmm. so you're gonna rock back. Rock back. Mm -hmm. Those hands should never touch. They never will. Rock up. Mm -hmm. Fall onto my hand. Roll up. Mm -hmm. Connect that palm and that pec. They move together. Palm and pec. Yep. Push down through. Stop straightening. Down. There you go. Lift yourself up a bit. Better. It's different. I'm so used to like trying to bend my elbows on every fly, yeah. and like either too much in the lengthening and then straightening them out as I come together. Yeah. Or just leading with my elbow and not my hand necessarily. It's just finding. It's more about finding the tension on the palm. Yeah. And understanding that tension on my palm is directly connected to my pec. Yeah. Yeah. So even if I'm here and I push across here. I try to pull myself this way, it's my pec that pulls me, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not my, I can go up my shoulder and go. Yeah. And yeah. push myself across or slap, pull things towards me. I think that's one, my of, pec. one of the things I've learned so far is what I'm doing with my hands yeah. when I'm loading everything. Okay, so uh, my name is Rowan, uh, last name Humble. That is Craig. That is my long lost cousin. It's a pretty crazy story, but uh, we actually met. Uh, online about five years ago when my father passed uh, and we're meeting together here for the first time to come down and train with Mike uh, So we're coming. He's coming all the way from Japan. Uh, I come from East Coast uh, of Canada So Halifax, Nova Scotia we, crazy thing is we both happen to compete as well So we both actually compete in amateur bodybuilding um, Making a big push for pro qualifiers this year competing in Vancouver in nine weeks myself uh, So we're really looking forward to it and we're here to just absorb and learn as much as we possibly can and a lot of that is happening. We're getting our asses kicked. Years for sure, um, especially like just, just with HD and everything that they're doing here uh, and then bringing trainers like Mike to the forefront. Um, it really is kind of the mecca of bodybuilding in Canada. So it's really cool to be here. This is kind of like Disneyland for us, to be honest, because we both kind of uh, train. As we know, bodybuilding is very independent, you know, uh, and, and can be a little isolated at times. So it's kind of cool to come in here and have everybody in the same kind of training environment getting after it. And uh, it's very motivating. Like I can imagine what it would be like doing an entire prep working out here. And, uh, and I can imagine that it would only have, have positive outcomes because of that, so. Uh, so not only, obviously, like technical uh, support and like, like analysis and, and tips and cues uh, from an athlete's perspective, but I'm also a online coach and personal trainer myself. So uh, being able to pick up how Mike communicates, especially is a big one. Uh, and the way that he's able to kind of cue people in terms that they can understand and, and kind of have a desired the, the proper desired outcome because I think a lot of times you have trainers that talk over people's heads a little bit nowadays uh, and the whole the whole science applied science thing is great but if it doesn't result in the desired outcome for the for the movement or for the exercise then in that case it doesn't really have uh, the benefit that it may seem right so it's really cool to be able to be here in person and pick up as much as I can both from the athlete's perspective and from a, from a trainer's perspective as well too so yeah, yeah, I'll like just keep them here yeah. wherever it feels more comfortable for you the meat of this, the pressure is going to be on this top part of that meat of that palm. Don't be so bent. So let that shoulder down. Let those elbows peel you back. So relax here. Throw the head back. Go. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this is opposite. Roll. Mm -hmm. Slide them. One, little one. Good, down. Yeah, take that one off. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go real high. So up here, up here. Good. We're gonna relax those shoulders. Same thing, head forward. Come around a little higher now when you swing. Yeah, get up into the throat. So let your head be relaxed. Go. Yeah, get up into here. There you go. Pull the head out of the way. Keep it up relaxed. Mm -hmm. One. Head back. Good. Now. Yeah, you're pushing from here. I need you to push from here. Better. From your palm. Head back. Better. From your palm. Head back. One. Head back. Palm. Better. It's just a matter of you're, you're trapping things in horrible locations, right? 
And it's either because of like a pattern you developed just working out or you're doing it because you're guarding yourself because you think you're going to hurt yourself again. But the fact that you're like, when you put your hands on something and your hands are loose, you're going to lift weight and your hands loose on a pressing motion. That's telling you that there's way too much tension in your body and you're not relaxing enough. So that's why it's just, I'm pushing this thing away from me where it's gotta be the weight sits on my hand and I pull it into me and push. I can't be like timid and like, oh, just push this thing, right? Because you're, you're pinging and trapping in shoulder. That's why I think you've had that problem to begin with. Slide up here, open that elbow. Let's get a little taller in the seat. Tuck into this lat here. Get elbow open a bit. Slowly fall back and extend. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Rock that head back, hit it on the pad. Fire. Yep. Yeah. Look up. Fire back. You're gonna end up naturally lifting. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna naturally rock up. Mm-hmm. Palm. Mm-hmm. Relax here. Fall back. Palm out. Yep. Yeah. Same back. motion here, it's gonna feel like you're jamming to the middle more. Don't think that you're trying to push straight. Jam to the middle. Feel like you're super opened here. Shoulders down and back. Oh, so roll these under. There you go. Good, rock out. Good. Open, move up the bench as you press. There you go. You're gonna tuck into that lat a bit. Mm -hmm. Tuck into here, press. So we're gonna start with that hand flat underneath. Good, both sides. I'm gonna pop this up. So slide up an inch, slide up an inch. There you go. So let's hold here, keep this chest wide open. Look up here, eyes up there. Good, shoulders down. Slowly fall back and hit that head and press out. It's better, yeah. Yeah, tempo, man. Just squeeze your palm out. There you go. Okay, so you're better at this angle, put it down. Extend your hand, your whole arm. Press, yeah. Mm-hmm, fall back, press. Bury your chin. Two, one, better, good, good. Stop. When you lay there, this can't be up. Here, we're squeezed underneath here. Yep, palm underneath. Come up a little bit. Relax, relax. There you go. Shoulders down, chest up. Pop this up an inch, hold for me. Fall back and press, better. Mm -hmm. You're naturally gonna move up like that. Yeah, fall back, two, palm, one, good, no juice. You guys are gonna start just like how you start everything. Don't start dumbbell presses by going here. It's awful, you're not gonna get any depth. So the thing is we wanna be in tight and we wanna be elbows in already. So I'm rolled back where I am, elbows in. So when I kick back, my elbows stay in till I wanna open them up and open up my chest. So if I don't tuck out open lat, I don't open up at all. Okay, so if I'm pinned here and my head's floating and now I'm in this depth, I'm throwing hands out. I'm not trying to press shoulders, because then I'll lose everything, right? So I'm throwing hands out, pressing here to the middle. Sit up tall. Get this as tight to you as you can get it. Elbows in, wrist in. So it's really curved and I'm tucked into my lat now. Arch up tall. Good, fall back in that position. Keep your elbows beside you. Swing your elbows open and feel that stress stretch open. That head's up, shoulders back. Settle there like a barbell. Fall back and press up. Mm -hmm. Head comes up, head fires back. There you go. Mm -hmm. Feel that body weight press back into the bench. Rock down. Yeah, good, elbows in tight, wrist in. So we're tucked in, so this is arch, chin down, fall back, keep those elbows tight until you want to open them up. Now this head comes up, just squeeze those shoulder blades back. Nope, tuck into there, hold tight there like it's a barbell, roll your wrist back, there you go. Squeeze into here, fall back, press out. There you go. Mm -hmm. Extend your palm, stop thinking with your whole body, just your palm fires out. Yeah. Slow down the press, settle, fall back. Really fall back. Tuck into lat now with elbow. Go. Don't flatten out. 
keep that arch as you fall. Open into a f arch. Yeah, open up, 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 up. Wrist flat. Break that wrist. Go. Flat wrist underneath that dumbbell all the time. Mm -hmm. Power. You're in the spot, so just move and rock. Go. Yeah, go. Catch, throw. Fall back hard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Three. Fall. One. Slam your head. Good. Down. At the 40s. Just dump them. 40s. Go. Tap me. Look up. Look at your eyes. Open your eyes. Yep. Fall back still. Hard. Two more. Fall back. One more. Good. Stop at the bottom. Hold. Tap me. Go. Quick. Two, three, one more. Good. Go. That's it. Good job. Slowly. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate yeah, it. No problem.